in this video we will discuss a lot about the basics of car hood design so we will discuss all the basic things about the car hood so we will start with the first point which is uh, the car hood what is car hood and we will see that then after that we will see different requirements and the function of a car hood then the third point is uh, how to open a car hood so we will see that then we will uh, we will see different components like basic components of car hood then the hood stay what is hood stay and different types of hood stay then the last point is the layout condition for the support rod so what is support rod we will see that before discussing this point okay so we will we will see all these points one by one so the first point is what is a car hood so in this uh, so here you can see this is the picture of this car and this is the engine compartment uh, and this is the car hood of this is the hood of this car as you can see uh, so the basic and primary use case of this uh, car hood is to cover the engine compartment so basically there are different use cases also like safety and all other things so we will discuss them later but the primary use case of this car hood is to cover the engine compartment so here you can see a car hood is the metal part that covers the engine of an automobile then after that this is all about the terminology and the origin of this term called car hood so basically it is a north american term okay so sometimes you might see uh, hood sometimes contain a hood scoop wiper jets power bulge and hood ornaments also so you might see all these things sometimes then after that a car hood are typically constructed from steel and sometimes from aluminum so these two materials are generally used one is steel and sometimes uh, from aluminum also but in aftermarkets uh, you might see different materials like carbon fiber fiber glass or dry carbon also okay so okay so here in this uh, slide you can see uh, so basically hood consists of outer panel and inner panel so in this image uh, you can see uh, this is the outer panel and this is the inner panel so basically uh, outer panel covers the inner panel uh, as you can see uh, here in this image so the inner panel provides the strength while outer panel functions as a metal cover so the use of this outer panel is to cover the inner panel and the function of the inner panel is to provide the strength to the car so these are this is the use case of these two things okay so so here you can see uh, so basically there are uh, some hinges uh, in this inner panel as you can see so there there is one hinge at this point and there is one hinge at this point so so the basic function of this uh, inner panel is to uh, is to divert the force towards these hinges so that's why it is constructed like this as you can see uh, so this is the primary function of this inner panel so when the so when in case of the front impact a hood sends the energy outside the body towards the hinge rather than sending it inside the body and keeping the passengers safe so this is the uh, function this is the use of this inner panel <coughs> okay so so now we will see uh, the requirements and function of a car hood <coughs> so here you can see uh, the first function is to cover the engine of an automobile so this is the primary function of this car hood then it is easy to open for basic maintenance in engine compartments so if there is any fault inside the compartments then you have to open this uh, car hood so it should be easy to operate it and then safety for pedestrian so 
this is also an important point and then it should transfer load to hinges after crash after the front crash so this is also the very important point from the safety point of view then it should be aesthetic look it is also very important then stability at vibration then aerodynamic shape noise absorbed from engine so these are all the basic uh, requirements and the functions of car hood okay so now we will see how to open a car hood okay so so first thing you have to do is you have to find the hood release release latch which will be inside the cabin inside the body so here hood release latch you will find inside under the dash by the driver's door or you you might find on the bottom of the dash under the steering column or you might find on the driver's side floor so at these three uh, areas you might find the hood release latch so you have to find that first then after that you have to find the release latch outside of the car so for that you have to go outside the car and you have to find it so once you have released the latch you will need to be on the outside of the vehicle to open the hood so you will only be able to lift the hood a few inches until you move the exterior uh, lever under the hood to completely unlock it okay so after this uh, you will find something known as support rod so that the hood stays in its open condition so so you have to prop the hood open prop the hood open okay so to hold the hood in place use the metal prop rod located on the inside of the engine but engine bay or engine compartment so this is used to so that your car hood can stay in its open condition okay so this is how you open the car hood okay so now we will see different components different uh, basic components of this car hood okay so the first uh, component is hood skin which is the outer panel then the buffer which is hood which is known as hood resting then the third point is uh, so in this image you can see uh, all these uh, numbering also so this is the uh, hood skin then then you can see this is the hood this is the buffer for the hood resting then the third point is uh, third component is this one intermediate layer so then the fourth one is inner hood so this is the inner hood then the fifth point fifth component is switch anti theft switch you can see so this is that switch here in this image then the logo sixth number is logo which you you, you find on the front of the uh, front of this uh, com uh, hood skin then the next point is catch outer panel then safety hook handle handle release cable and hood release cable and the handle so all these are the basic uh, components we will see and the final point is gas operated spring so these are all the basic components of the car hood and this is the air inlet grill okay okay so now we will uh, discuss about the hood stay okay so what is hood stay so as the name else itself indicates the meaning of this hood stay so basically hood stays are used so that your car hood can stay at its open position so it is basically a device so that your uh, car hood stays in its open condition so that's why it is used so this is the purpose of this hood stay so an automotive hood is supposed to be open for the purpose of inspecting the engine room so there is a requirement to there is a so there is a requirement to open the hood sometimes because of the uh, because of the, some problems inside the engine compartment or to inspect the engine room or to replenishing cooling water or engine oil so that's why you need to open the car hood and 
you have to use the hood stay so that your hood remains open okay so this is the purpose of this hood stay okay so now we will see uh, different types of hood stays okay so the first first type is support rod so you have you might have seen this uh, support rod inside the engine compartment so basically uh, and this is used so this is the hood stay so one end will be fixed inside the engine compartment and one end you have to uh, fix it in uh, fix it on the hood inner panel so that after opening the hood so this is the hood stay this is the support rod we call it so so here you will need some manpower so you it is not automatic so it is a manual procedure you have to follow so it is very simple and cost effective so this is the advantage of this support rod but there are some disadvantages also like uh, due to striking with the automotive body fan panel there are chances of uh, rusting it, it might cause a rust on this support rod and the another disadvantage is uh, this support rod will be very hot sometimes not sometimes uh, generally it will be very hot after stopping your car and you, you want to immediately open the car hood then then that time your uh, support rod will be very hot and it will not be easy to operate it with your hands you need something for that like clothes or something so that you can uh, touch it and you can open your hood so this is the disadvantage of this support rod okay so now we will see the second type which is gas stay so this is very uh, so I